the indian market has become i think domestic investors and the indian market has become more robust to a point where i think uh, a single group or a single incidence can cause uh, temporary volatility in the market but i think uh, in this case i don't think there is a sustained impact either on global confidence or uh, domestic confidence uh, you know as far as uh, the group in question i think uh, uh, the exposure that domestic asset managers have had uh, to the particular group has also been extremely limited uh, as you know uh, you know very few of the large asset management companies have had exposure to the name uh, so i think markets move on from things quickly and uh, you know that's what what one expects to see with this incident i think uh, we've also had phases where we've seen a couple of these things happen in the past uh, and you know they are individual specific things of course regulators everyone will do what they have to but markets move on fairly quickly and in this case domestic exposure was also much more limited that indeed uh, is the case. Uh, but it puts a spotlight, uh, Radhika, on, uh, you know, financing and how the channels of financing work in India. I do want to get your thoughts in on the banking sector first and foremost, uh, and how robust is that space uh, in the wake of rising rates? I think it is. In fact, you know, uh, you know, if you look at our own portfolios, perhaps uh, one of the places that we are more most optimistic about uh, is the whole banking space and BFSI space, specifically lenders. Uh, you know, at this point, uh, you know, in the end, uh, in PSI kill, we actually believe uh, that banks are perhaps in their best of shape. Even PSU banks, uh, you know, which is rare for an asset manager to comment on, uh, you know, which have had their ups and downs. But I think at the point we are in the NPS cycle and the point we are in the economic cycle, uh, we are actually overweight financials in uh, most of our portfolios. And I think banking regulations, you know, since 2008, uh, after that, uh, you know, the whole uh, bankruptcy code, NPA review, a lot has happened in terms of building out a more robust uh, banking system. And I think today what you see is a consequence of that.